medal podium 12 years after that first time. Whoa, Nelly! He's done it! Welcome to Team USA, Sean White. We met up with White just a week before the two-time gold medalist made the Olympic team. I feel like I've watched you grow up because I was there day after you won in Torino mm -hmm. with your first gold medal around your neck and the hair, <laughs> the big flowy mane. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you miss the hair? <laughs> and, yeah, on occasion, you know, I'll see somebody on like Instagram or something and I'm like, I don't know. He's got good hair. I had good hair like that. You still do. I mean, it's, look it's at there, your It's there. It's there. It's happening. And you have three rings, yeah, big rings. So you need a little balance on this. I know. <laughs> well, I was sitting. I was laughing. I was on the plane. I was like, "We're going pinky." Yeah, pinky We're ring. We're going pinky. <laughs> but his quest for redemption nearly derailed last fall after a terrifying training crash in New Zealand. Yeah. You're trying out a new trick. Yeah. Right. What well, happened? I had accomplished the one trick I'd wanted to do that day. Let's get the last piece of the puzzle here. Let me go for this other trick that I haven't done in a while. And I try this this one warm-up trick and kind of just space on where I was and what I was doing. Unfortunately, I was like 20 feet in the air when this happened. White landed in the hospital with 62 stitches and missed a month of training. And the snow was all well, that bloody was, was around say, you. I'm laughing now because I talked to some of the yeah. other riders that were like, we had to ride the bloody pipe after you. <laughs> like, dude, you had like this pool in the middle of the half pipe. And a reminder of the hurdles he endured to get back on top. When you're looking down that 22 foot drop in the half pipe, make you a little afraid. I'm not the kind of guy that like, yeah, it's 62 stitches in my face. I'm just gonna get it back out there and yeah. do it again. <laughs> no, <laughs> I like really took my time and and honestly, I was I was a bit terrified. It's just like this this visual flashing in my mind of what happened. And I know I can do the trick, but I knew I could do the trick when I crashed. You know, I was really confident then, as I am now. Horrible as it was to have this injury, I mean, I feel so alive because I was able to like conquer my fears and go back and do the trick and do it perfect. And mm. and now I get to go do it in front of the world, you know, at the Olympics.